Do love potions work? That's the big question. Yes, they do. Love potions work if they're made properly and if they're made by you. In our Garifuna tradition, all remedies can be made by the healer. They can be made by someone else, except one. There's one remedy that must be made by you. It is necessary that you be there and that you touch the plant, that you participate. Because only your heart knows what your life needs. It is our belief that humans are hardwired to be true to our own hearts because your heart cannot betray you. That's why in matters of the heart, you have to participate. So for a love potion to work properly, it's necessary that you be there because only you can transmit your heart's intention clearly, accurately, and properly so that the plant understands the work that it has to do. During this workshop, you will be making a mother tincture comprised of the five plants that we use in Garifuna tradition to heal matters of the heart, love matters. And I'll be walking you through it in the same way that my great-grandmother taught me. Spiritually, these five plants work together to cause the rivers of the heart to flow. We have, in our tradition, seven points of spiritual power, and each one of them is a flowing river. And in matters of the heart, the plants that we use are the ones that cause those rivers to flow. Our potions are for people who wish to increase their own capacity to love back. The assumption is that if we are the ones longing for love, then we are the ones with the deficiency. And these plant spirits work with our body chemistry to increase our own capacity to love more. They do and they will activate and enhance your libido, but only as a side effect to opening the rivers of your heart. On an emotional level, these plants work best when there is a sincere desire between two people to be closer, to get to know each other better, when people already like each other and want to bring love back into their relationship. They also work when uh, you're getting to know each other and you want to know each other more intimately. These herbs are in the world to enhance the human love and loving experience. Scientifically, these plants have been found to chemically modify the parts of the brain that respond to love, and they are known to work on body chemistry to enhance relationships. They enhance affection. They don't force it. Uh, they don't impose it. And it's not something that we use on unwilling subjects. Like I said, you're working from the heart, and the heart does not betray us. Do love potions work? Yes, they do. They work if they're made from plants in charge of loving energy, and if they're made with sincere intentions. And the proof will be in the trial. So that's what our love potion crafting workshop is all about. How do you register for the workshop? Send me a comment in the comment section uh, here on my YouTube channel, and I will send you the registration link. There are a lot of horror stories out there about love potions and getting undesirable results and people being unwilling victims to love potions and or getting sick or stuff like that. Anyway, none of, none of that is good. But what I want to assure you is that... Um, our love potions, sadly, will not contain any of the known ingredients of love potions. It's just five plants, people. It's just our five plants that work together to enhance loving relationships. So our love potion will not contain the usual, um, there are no an animal products of any sort in our love potion. There are no human products of any sort in our love potions. We do not have fried or crushed worms or Spanish fly or the uh, 
blister beetle or no sparrow heads, no bits of deer heart. We don't have any stork droppings or fat from a snake or brain sparrow or any animal testicles of any kind. We have no bones or bone powder. Um, we have no side of toad, which has been devoured by ants, no blood or heart of a pigeon, no bat's blood uh, mixed with beer. We have no viper's blood, no lizards drowned in urine, uh, no lizard tails, no eye of newt, no neck of lizards. We have no human remains uh, in our love potion, no uh, menstrual blood, no pubic hair, no fingernail clippings, no hair, no umbilical cord remains, no witch's hair, nobody's hair, no mandrake, and no, um, what's the other one? No datura. Well, of course, if the datura is your plant and the datura has asked to be in your love potion, then that would be something that, that you would insert in your own time. So I hope you've enjoyed our <laughs> little clarifier on love potion crafting. And I invite you to attend the workshop uh, February 13th at the Assemble Lodge. That's 17 John Street uh, in Manhattan, New York. I really hope you can make it. Uh, you've been listening to Mountain Spirit Speaks. I am Arzu Mountain Spirit. And we are the only radio show dedicated to your natural health and the healing powers inherent in nature. So please don't forget to hit the like button if you like what you hear and you like what you see. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so already. Please check out my Facebook page, our Zoo Mountain Spirit. There'll be some more information on the workshop and how you can register on that site. So let me know what you think. Send me a comment and I will send you the registration link for the workshop. It's February 13th. We have a limited space, so let me know early enough. For those of you who don't know, I have a medicinal garden in the rainforest of Belize in Central America. So if you want to visit me, you want to come on one of our retreats, there'll be more information about that on the Facebook page as well. But you can also write me, let me know that you're interested, you want to come by, and then you can see the plants yourself. You can see where they grow. You can have your own little trip through the forest and get to know them in their own space because I'm sure that by now, they want to know you too. So I look forward to hearing from you. And until then, this is Arzu Mountain Spirit. Take care. Mwah. There you are.